Nick and happy Saturday morning, y'all. Y'all gonna wake up out there. Y'all, today we're gonna have a three ingredient sausage casserole, okay? It's real simple, easy, and fast, okay? We're gonna use one pound, I already poured it out in my skillet, one pound of whatever your local sausage is. This is, I was this Tennessee Pride. So one pound of that. We're going to use some cream cheese. Don't matter the brand. Don't Whatever you want to use, girl. One pack. I mean, one pack of it. Girl, what is this? Eight ounce. Eight ounce. One block. That's what I'm trying to say. One block. Okay. And then you want to get uh, eight ounces of uh, crescent rolls. Get two of them. Okay. Because we're going to use one for the bottom and one for the top. Okay. You can get whatever flavor you want. I got honey butter. Okay. All right, let's get this party started early in the morning, okay? I already put my sausage in there, and it's heating up right now, okay? Make sure you get you a casserole dish, too. I'm using this glass one, all right? And when the uh, sausage get good and done, that's when I'm going to uh, put the cream cheese in. It's real easy, y'all. Y'all going to enjoy this. Of course, it's been around forever, but I'm putting it out there again, okay? <laughs> so, we're going to crush this up. Yes, y'all, it's early Saturday morning. The sun is shining. Going to fix this brothels. Going to fix this brothels. Okay? Get that sausage cut. I mean, chopped up. But how y'all doing today? You know, did you sleep well? I did, and I woke up like every hour, but uh, like I had to be somewhere. But did you sleep well? You know, you, you know, you're on a good path today. Your head not hurting, your lit, your knees not hurting. You feeling good? Okay, girl. But uh, I just wanted to check on you. Hold on one second. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to cook this sausage. And like I said, you could just use your local, whatever y'all local sausage is in whatever state. Mine is Tennessee Pride. My favorite anyway is Tennessee Pride. That's my favorite. And this is a mild sausage. And you just, you just cook it until all the pink is gone. I'm sure all y'all know that. But for those in the back who don't know that, you just cook it till all the pink is gone. Okay? Okay? And I'm going to finish cooking this until it's all the pink is gone. <laughs> and I'm going to be <laughs> right back, okay? Okay, y'all. Y'all see how it's all brown and crumbly, you know? You see it? There's no big clumps in it, okay? So now what we're going to do, we're going to put that block of uh, cream cheese in there, okay? And look, y'all, I let this soften. I, You know, I left it out for a little bit so it can soften so you can work with it easy. Don't put no freezing cold cream cheese in there because it's going to take you forever. See how easy it is to break up? You just need to stir Stir your cream cheese in there. If you want to put it in a bowl and do it, that's fine too. Whichever one is, you know, you're comfortable with. I was just trying not to wash too many dishes, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to start melting. Because I still got my uh, pan on low too so it can melt easy. So I'm just going to stir this up. Y'all, when I say it's so good, if you want to put some extra cheese on top, but to me, you don't need it. But if you, you know, if you want to, you can. 
but I'm just keeping it simple. Three ingredients. Even though you see two cans of uh, croissants, it's still one because they together. <laughs> they together. Don't be trying to be all smart. It's four things. It's the same thing. Come on, there. It's the same thing. It count as one. Okay. Okay, y'all, that's my oven preheating. Preheat your oven to 375, okay? Preheat your oven to 375, okay? So she like she about ready right here, okay? So let's, we're gonna push this to the side. Turn off everything, unplug it, okay? So now we about to work with the casserole dish. So what you want to do, you want to spray it with whatever oil you got. I just got some canola oil right here. Spray it on the side and also the bottom so it won't stick, okay? Now, you take one of your crescent rolls that I showed you before. You're going to open it up. We'll find the end part. And you could also use the uh sheets. They got the croissant sheets. And you won't have to worry about these lines because we're gonna have to squeeze them together. So you basically put it in there like this. That's your base. You see it? Squeeze the lines together. Squeeze the lines together. Like so. Just push that down like that. Try to bring. Ooh, girl, you made me mess up the line. Okay. Squeeze it together. Okay. That's good, okay? Now we're gonna put our meat in, our meat mixture that we just made. We're gonna put that in. Like so. And I tell y'all, y'all, it's gonna be good. Your family gonna think you're a super chef. <laughs> they gonna think you're a super chef this morning. Okay, we're gonna spread it out. Spread it out to all the little corners. Like this. Just pat it down. Now at this point, if you want to put some shredded cheese on top, you can. You can. Just trying to make it evenly distributed. Distributed it. <laughs> Girl, get it even across the thing. <laughs> you ain't finna make me so tired this morning. No, you ain't. <laughs> like, I didn't go to school. <laughs> y'all play too much. It's too early. I ain't playing with y'all. Okay, she good. I think she cute now, okay? Now, let's push this down just a little. Now we're going to take the other uh, crescent roll, open it up. And like I said, if you want to put your shredded cheese... This is the time to do it. 
before you open the other one. Or whatever you want to put. You can add other stuff if you want to. But like I said, I'm making this simple and easy. And you just take it. And we're just going to lay it on top. We're going to lay it on top. And just try to close the little holes up like that. I don't need so much of this dough because my pan is not that big. So I'm just taking some off the edges. Don't say, don't say I'm ghetto. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just taking a little bit of dough off the edges so she could be cute. Now, close her up. Close her up. Like that. Just kind of just kind of pinch at the little lines. And like I said, if you use the sheet kind, you don't have to do this. Which I do have the sheet can also in the refrigerator, but I wanted to show you this way because sometimes it's hard to find that sheet can. Matter of fact, hold on, I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, y'all, I went and got the uh, the crescent dough sheet. This is how it looks. If you just don't want to do all that pinching, if your store has this, it's much easier because you ain't got to pinch those lines together. You just lay it down. Lay it down, lay it down. Okay, so yeah, she ready. Like Tiffany Haddish would say, she ready. Okay. Yeah, she ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me bring the camera. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Maybe about, no, I'm putting it in about 15 minutes because I want to put some on top. But if you're just not going to put anything on top, I'm going to put some. So a little, just a little syrup on top, just to, you know, cause you know, I like syrup with my sausage, you know? So I'm just gonna just glaze it a little bit on top with some syrup about the 15 minute mark and then uh, let it cook for about another additional, probably about five or 10 minutes, just until it's golden brown. But if you're not planning on putting nothing on top, just cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes until the top is golden brown. You'll see it, it's gonna be good and golden brown, okay? But I'm gonna be back when I'm ready to top it and I'll show you what I'm going to do to the top. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Y'all I'm back and I'm just, you know, glazing that syrup. I told you, but I just poured some in a little container, little glass dish and I'm just glazing it. A little syrup. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for about, about five, 10 minutes. I'm going to check on it whenever it get, you know, a little more golden brown. Oh, this smells so delicious. Yes. Ooh, you smell that. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna put this back in the oven probably about five, five to ten minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it until it get the color brown I want it to get. Okay, and I'm gonna be right back. And I'm gonna show you how uh I'm gonna show you how I look plated, okay? I'll be back. back and I'm finished with this three ingredient sausage casserole y'all when I tell you it's the bomb it's the bomb check the girl out look at her yes look at her <laughs> she cute I put some little fried potatoes with it with some uh, fried eggs and that sausage casserole look at her she cute look at her and yes look at the bottom bam you see that bottom uh-huh. Yes. Ain't no dough with there. Ain't no dough with there. <laughs> yes, y'all. This is the bomb.com. Get you a bite. Come on, get some of this Southern hospitality. Uh-huh. She cute. 
Yo, thank you so much for tuning in on this Saturday morning. I know y'all got stuff to do, errands to run, kids to pick up, and all that good stuff. I hope it's beautiful where y'all let. I love y'all. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to me. Also, very important, hit that bell to be notified. Click on all so you'll get all my videos when I come on the scene. And also, hit that like button. Share me on your social media. I don't care if it's TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Share me on that thing. Instagram, Church Bulletin, everywhere, y'all. But I love y'all. Thank you so much for, you know, all the support you give me. And I'm going to see y'all again next time. Bye-bye.